Akila Ahmed and Amory Waters, thank you for joining me this evening. Akila, okay, let's start with you. I mean, we heard from the Home Office Minister, yes. Jeremy Brown, in uh, Peter's report there. Is he right? Is it is it time for a full national debate about wearing a face veil in public in the UK? Well, firstly, I think the issue has been overblown by Jeremy Brown. I don't think we need a national debate. I think Why it's, not? I think it's very simple. I think in Britain, um, women and men are free to choose what they want to wear um, and we have that freedom to do that and we've got the freedom to express our religious and cultural beliefs in, in any way that we want to and I think that should stand. What do you think, Emily? Well, first of all, I think we need to be clear what we're talking about. It, this isn't about telling people what they can or cannot wear. Um, this is about concealing identity. Um, and while the National Secular Society doesn't call for a blanket ban on this, there have to be circumstances where it's just not appropriate um, and shouldn't be permitted. And one of those has to be a defendant in a criminal trial at any stage during the trial. I think Jeremy they should Brown, should though. have their uh, their face seen. Okay. And you know, the right for freedom of expression and freedom of religion is not uh, an absolute right; it's a qualified right. However, that's there not are what Jeremy Brown is okay, calling for. But, but Nick Clegg actually has added yeah. to the debate today because he for support a woman's right to wear any care, but he yeah. says it, sh it shouldn't happen in a classroom, it shouldn't happen in, in, for example, going through airport security. And of course, we've got this court case at, at the moment as well. Do you agree that there are certain areas in where, wherever we are in, in public places that, that it isn't appropriate to wear one? There are, of course, going to be exemptions. So you do agree on that point? Um, yes. And I, you know, and nobody should be forced to wear um, a headscarf or in the car, but nobody should be forced to do anything that they don't want to do. But in that same way, I think if we are concerned about young women who are potentially being forced to wear a niqab, um, having a blanket ban on it is not going to address that. Those, you know, those young women come from complex social situations and they need social and pastoral means to address those issues. A ban won't, won't address those very, very complex issues at all. All it would do is um, silence those young women even further. What, what, Anne-Marie, why do you believe that, that, that the veil represents segregation or the repression of women? Well, I mean, if you look at the countries where it is compulsory, um, there is no choice. And even in this country, there isn't a lot of choice. I mean, we have schools in this country, and not universities or colleges, but schools, where 11, 12-year-old girls, this is the compulsory uniform. And what, um, what Jeremy Brown is calling for, he's not calling for a ban, he's calling for a debate. Right. And we have to have that, and we have to identify that there are thousands of women in this country who are being forced Akeela, to Akila, do you this. feel repressed? Do you feel that, are you one of the ladies that Anne-Marie is talking about? Here? No, not at all. I'm, you know, what do you I, say I, to her about I, this? I, you know, I wear the, the hijab obviously through my own choice, and I think we're talking about the niqab. There are women who also wear the niqab through their own choice, and um, these women who I've met and who are my friends, they are very determined, strong, confident young women um, who are very articulate and very gregarious. I mean, after a few moments of speaking to them, you wouldn't think that their identity has been concealed or um, that they're suppressed in any shape or form. Well, I mean, their identity is being concealed. Their face. Is covered. But it's their that's choice. Not Maybe that's debate. the most important thing. Well, fine. I mean, but let's have it. Let's talk a little bit more about the women who are being forced to wear it. And I think I the think idea that 11-year-olds having compulsory uniform is absolutely scandalous, and we need to address that. And Akita, 11. Choice. I mean, an 11-year-old girl. Does she really know whether she wants to wear a full face veil or not at that age? Um, I agree. I mean, 11-year-old being forced to wear a niqab is not right, and I think that needs to be looked into by the Department for Education um, and how they regulate independent schools. However, I think there are much more pertinent debates to be had. Uh, for example, on page three, um, okay. or for example, on lads. Lots and lots of tweets coming on this. And um, this is from Kieran Anderson, both men actually. Uh, banning women wearing veils is going too far. People wear it for religious reasons for their faith. It's not hurting anybody. I mean, he's got a very good point, Amory. It's not hurting you, is it, if someone on, on the bus that you're on is wearing a niqab? Well, it possibly does hurt people. In what way? It, well, it legitimizes it and it creates more pressure on girls to wear it. I but mean, this, convers a this conversation a is always about women, women who made, want to wear it. Legitimate. It and we them. ignore the women who don't. And I think we need to start looking at and supporting and standing okay. up for the women who don't want one, to wear One it. final one for you, I if mean, you don't mind. This is from Lee Charles, and the gentleman says, regardless of religion, it's in our nature to feel uncomfortable around anyone who covers their face. They should adapt to our culture. Do you think he's got a point? If you can't converse with someone because their face is covered, it makes you feel uncomfortable? I don't necessarily agree with the niqab, but that does not give me the right to tell women what they can and cannot wear. It's as simple as that. Will it ever be banned? What do you think, Anne-Marie, in this country? 
Um, I'm, I'm glad there's a discussion going on. Will I it ever be banned? Not. That was my question. I suspect not, but who knows? Things change, and, um, and a discussion may, may change. And just again. very quickly, Amory, would people, uh, Akila, excuse me, would people defy the ban, do you think, in this country if it ever came in? Probably. Knowing they, British people, they will. Ladies, thank yeah. you very much for your thoughts tonight.